because we're feeling a little bit sick. My beard just fell off. Isn't that weird? It's unfortunate. Poor unfortunate beard. So, so sad. sad. <laughs> a very random segment with Rafi Eckley. A very random segment. Hola, you amazing artist! Here we are in the studio. We're actually taking a moment on the blue couch because we wanted to put this video together really quick for you guys um, with some resources, with everything that's going on. You guys saw the last video where we talked about being in a pandemic. Indeed. And uh, I, what I wanted to do was put together some resources that we've found. We've been uh, following closely on what's going on online and uh, just out in the world as far as being an artist and knowing that at this point in time, things are a little bit difficult. They are different. That's for sure. They are different financially, just a little bit challenging, not only if you're an artist, but if you're a small business. Uh, but this video is specifically for artists and like different resources that we found and we want to share with you. We're going to go over the resources that we found uh, in this video, but if you want the actual links, if you want to go to our resources page that we have for everyone, go to rafiandklee.com backslash Patreon. And if you scroll down, you'll see a little tab that says uh, resources for artists, and that's where we have all our resources. You guys know that I like research. Yeah, a lot of this is due to Klee research. She would be sitting there reading emails and stuff, emails that I would delete, and she's reading them and like, uh, oh, did you know that so-and-so is doing this? So There's a lot of stuff that people are doing. We compiled the most, what we felt was the most useful for artists and also some of the most useful government and world websites. Yeah, yeah, because uh, for a lot of the information that you're finding out about this stuff, like, I don't know... Um, I don't really rely on the news very much, uh, be Nay. because there's always contradictory information, but, uh, so a lot of this is stuff that we've gotten directly from, um, uh, government sites and artists foundations and things like that. So let's go over it. So on the resources page, when you go on there, you're going to see an area that says where we get our materials and supplies online. Uh, that just scroll underneath that and you'll see resources and info for artists based on the COVID-19. And basically in the description there, I also add in one of you guys, Lisa, one of our awesome patrons, uh, talked about contacting, like, let's say the bank or any places where you have to make payments to, um, and contacting them and seeing if you could have the payments deferred. Yeah. Yeah, because I think she contacted her, the loan company for the car. For her car. I think a lot of companies are doing deferred payment things if you just reach out to them. Yeah, so um, just reach out to anybody that'll help financially. They deferred her payments for like three months. Uh -huh. So uh, it can't hurt. The worst they could say is no. One of the first things we have is the Artist Emergency Grant and Relief Funds from uh, Glass Art Society. They have a resource page where you can find all kinds of grants and artist reliefs. Yeah, they're basically like a hub right now of resources uh, for all kinds of things, locally and nationwide. You'll be able to find like where your state is and see what what's applicable to you. They're also hosting webinars with a lot of the people from the National Endowment for the Arts and other um, groups like that. And the webinars are happening it seems daily and also they're being recorded for playback at later times yeah. so up-to-date information yeah and that way you could keep up to date on what's available to you yeah uh the americans for the arts live webinar is actually going to be happening right now yeah in a few minutes and it'll be again recorded so you can watch it back i'm going to try to catch it and see what the latest things are that they're talking about yeah and they're discussing what they know how to move forward and current information about actions that we could all take as artists yeah so the national endowment for the arts the page that it'll take you to is a message from their chairman with links at the bottom for nationwide resources available to artists which i found to be pretty helpful also yes oh before i say anything because that's that's for that's for the US the artist emergency grants and reliefs that's worldwide isn't it yeah I believe yeah. so the next one is the freelance artist resources page and yeah so basically that's a huge database it's community compiled but it has resources pertaining to artists small businesses basically everything it's community compiled meaning people are contributing to it right what they know so this is like worldwide, worldwide yeah. artist resources yeah the next one we have on there is 
artsready.org? Yeah, artsready.org is basically like, as I understand it, this is what they do. It's basically an organization for preparedness in any kind of emergency situation for freelance arts, uh, cultural nonprofits, art organizations. It's basically something you can join. They have free and paid memberships, but to help you get through stuff like this. Right. Um, not just this particular crisis, but any crisis. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. Artsready.org. Yeah. And the link for that is on the site as well. And then I added an extra thing for government sites. Uh, one in particular is the IRS. It'll take you to a COVID-19 page where they talk about... Uh, deferred IRS payment. Basically, they want you to file your taxes by April 15th, but they are deferring payments if you need deference until July 15th. I believe, right. uh, with no penalty or interest, which is really very good. Um, but you can read all the details on that on their page. Yeah, and then uh, the CDC website and the, Wo Health, and the World Health Organization are on there as well. And you guys, as we find out more information or if we get any links to anything that we think is very helpful, we'll be adding them to our resources page as well. So... Yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys to let you know like where we're at and what we've um, discovered and make sure that you have access to it. Yeah, the things that we're keeping an eye on. Yeah, the things that we are keeping an eye on that might be helpful uh, to us and obviously to you. We'll just keep sharing that stuff. We're not going to do a video every time we find something, but uh, if you want to check back on that page often, uh, we'll share stuff as we find it. And Absolutely. Put it on there. And if you know of anything super useful, please feel free to share it with us. Yeah, do us a favor. Send us an email at our website if you have something useful. Don't put it in the comment section. Discuss amongst yourselves in the comment section to help yourselves out with any additional information that you might have that will be helpful for the community. But if it's something that you want us to share on here, please send us an email. You guys all stay safe and creative and happy and as well as possible yep. out there yep. and loving to one another. Yes, exactly. Stay loving to one another. Now, I know that a lot of us are quarantined in, so uh, this Saturday coming up, uh, at 7 p.m. Central, we are going to be doing the live stream so that we could connect with all you guys and party, party in a time of quarantine. Live stream Saturday night party with Rafi and Klee. Woo! That's it for this video. Uh, just go to the website, if, uh, rafiandklee.com backslash Patreon, and you'll see this list on there. Resources for artists. Resources for artists. And humans. And humans. Re and human artists. artists. Human artists. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, you are totally awesome. I adore you. And uh, you can subscribe to our videos. They're not really like this. Again, this is another service announcement. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day, everyone. Adios.